Okay, I have something real interesting to share today that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And Skywatcher over at the Energetic Forum did it and then posted a lot of information on how to do it. And what it is is another way to light up a CFL that I always wanted to try. And what you do is you take one of your transformers that's for your cell phone or radio or whatever and you run it backwards. And instead of uh, putting it in the wall, you pulse it backwards to make high voltage with a timer. Now this is the wall unit I'm using. I took it apart. You have to take it apart and take out this uh, rectifier circuit. And there's the transformer right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse this transformer backwards. I'm going to take it and put it in through the secondary, which now becomes the primary, and send it out the wall outlet side to light up the CFL. Now I chose one that was 3.7 volts to get the higher voltage on the back end that I wanted. And we're running this thing backwards. We're shooting it in this direction instead of the other direction. And we're using a 555 timer circuit. There's nothing fancy about it. Now the other part of his circuit is I'm going to charge up a supercapacitor by putting it in the way of the current flow. And this is kind of like what they call a Tesla switch. And you stick it in series before it reaches the load. And you put plus to plus, and it actually has a charge point right here. Now, the way he did it, he put uh, uh, 1.5 volt AA batteries together in parallel as a battery pack and did it that way. But I'm going to show this on a super cap. Okay, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass the capacitor with the source. That's a 12 volt source there. I'm going to show the amp draw on the system, lighting up the CFL. And this will be the voltage on the capacitor. That's that capacitor right now, which is bypassed. And right now there's just a little bit on it. So let me fire this up. I'll show you the amp draw on the light, which is right there. Okay, there goes the light, and you can see that this works. The 555 timer is taking the DC 12 volts, pulsing it into a pulse square waveform, sending that into that transformer. It's bumping the voltage up with the transformer, and it's lighting the light. Now it's doing this at about that amp draw, about 213 milliamps, uh, 0.2 amps roughly. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect that point and run it through the capacitor. It's going to go from the battery to the plus on the capacitor into the timer. Let me do that here. Okay, there goes the light. The light's out. We got no amp draw little bit of voltage on the super cap. Now here goes the system again. Okay, there we are. The system's running. There's my amp draw. That 200 milliamps. And there goes my capacitor. Now that's a 10 farad, not microfarad, 10 farad, 2.3 volt super capacitor. I'm going to let that charge up for a second and then show you something else about, something else I've been working on here. And that's my little pulse motor. Now, this is really, really interesting, and I'd like some feedback on this one if anyone wants to. I have this now with just one part, just the transistor. I eliminated everything else, the capacitors, resistors, you name it. It's just the two coils, the magnet running in the middle, and that transistor. That's a PN, NPN transistor. You can use a bunch of different kinds. It'll probably even run on a PNP. Now when the capacitor charges up over there, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to run that little pulse motor to show you that the energy is in that capacitor. Another thing this does is this self-oscillates. When I stop the motor, this little LED right there is connected on the collector side of the transistor, and that will come on and stay on, showing that this thing is, is self-oscillating. Okay, over here, here we are at 1.6 volts on the capacitor. I'm going to stop the system. There the amp draw went down a little bit. I'm going to pull the supercapacitor out here. And I'm going to put it over here on my little motor. Now watch this. There goes my little motor. And that's running on the stored up energy that I recovered going through the capacitor. And the reason that I'm so interested in this experiment is the latest circuit that I'm studying. It's a Dr. Stifler um, circuit. 
uses this idea, the energy running through a capacitor to charge it up, especially these high farad capacitors. So this is why this experiment was so interesting to me, was that ability to do that. And that's just energy uh, flowing out of that capacitor. Let me stop this, see if I can keep this still running here. Okay, there it is. It's still running. Motor's not on. There's the light. Now that's just a little LED. It activates at about 2.7 volts. And as you saw, that capacitor only had about a volt and a half on it, which indicates that that oscillator is still running. And uh, I just find this all very, very interesting. That uh, this thing that Skywatcher showed, and you're going to want to freeze frame this if you want to replicate this. This would be a great um, school project for a science class. And take one of these uh, wall outlets and run it backwards. And that's the whole setup right there. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share today was uh, this new Skywatcher CFL charger circuit using a wall outlet transformer run backwards.